Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is June 5th of the June Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prompt. Maximum performance of a team. Okay. Uh, okay. First thing I noticed is actually the mod part. So let's do that because I, I think I, I forgot it was yesterday or the day before. But, uh, but I forgot it and I was confused. But okay, let's actually read the problem. You're given two integers n and k. You have speed and efficiency, okay. You have n engineers, I okay. You want to choose at most k different engineers to form with the maximum performance. The maximum performance is the sum of the engineer's speed multiplied the minimum efficiency, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be a sorting problem, maybe a heap problem, but in either way, it's going to be, um, it's kind of like a sweep line problem, uh, kind of, um, but but the thing to think about in this problem is just about the invariance, right? And, <coughs> mm, excuse me, I usually tape these live, so because if it wasn't, no one would, people would get cut out the, the coughing, but, uh, okay. So, I, so the first thing to do is just sort it by uh, efficiency, right? And because the minimum efficiency is going to be, uh, the minimum efficiency is going to be the choke point, if you want to call it that, where uh, the minimum is the, you know, you get the sum of this. And as we go from, my idea would be that as we go with efficiency from the largest from smallest, then we just greedily choose the top uh, uh, K engineers of that efficiency and then do some math in a, and in fact doing it in a brute force kind of way. I know that probably didn't explain this quite well, because I, I, I uh, there's some, I think I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but it's hard to visualize here with these inputs. So let's actually, let's let's modify this around a little bit. Uh, so you, let's say you have you have this is the array. So let's say we're going to do brute force. We or brute force in a greedy way. Okay, what does that mean, right? That means that okay. Let's choose number nine first for one person, and then the next one's gonna be seven, five, four, three. And and why do we choose it that way, right? Because that means that that okay. Let, let's actually uh, let let for sake of it doesn't really matter. Let's just say that something like that, right? Let's just say that this is already sorted and th this speed corresponds to this, right? So now we, we do a sort of a sweep line algorithm, not really sweep line, but you're just basically going out that frontier, maybe that's a better word, which is a concept in sweep line as well. But, you know, now that you sort it uh, by the efficiency, then, you know, mm, how, how do I want to say it? Let's say you, K is two, right? Just a random number. Um, let's say we go from 9 to 7 and that means that we also use the prefix of speed and in here because we we know that the efficiency of everything inside the speed will, will be choke point this is what I mean by choke point is that 7 is going to be the the, um, the multiplier of the, the you know be the multiplier because you know you can effectively change this to uh, seven because it's the the minimum of those two numbers, right? Um, and because seven is the minimum of those two numbers, we get choose to, the greedily. The is it the sum? Yeah. So so you in greedily because you know you have basically your formula um, of some the sum of speed times the uh, minimum efficiency, and as we go from left to right. We know that the minimum efficiency of everything here, let's say now we're four numbers in. Um, the minimum efficiency is going to be four, and then we choose from speed. You know, that, that means this is set. The sum of the top k speed, I guess, is a little bit better. Top k speed. 
And you know that here, if you look at this formula that you're trying to maximize, then here, it makes sense to be greedy, right? Because if we, if we choose 10 and 1, well, that's always going to be losing to 10 and 3. Because, uh, you know, I think that part is maybe more obvious. Um, and here, as we do this sweep line, we just kind of keep always take the best answer. Um, let's see. But I would also say that depending on your language, you have to be very careful. So I think everything fits in the long because the sum of speed is going to be at most 10 to the 10, maybe. Yeah, because it's just 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 5th. And then the efficiency is going to be 10 to the 8th, so it's going to be 10 to the 18th, which fits in a 64-bit int. But um, the reason why I, I had to do that math is because if you have to, you know, even though we can mod the number, if you, um, the maximum before modding the number is not the same as the maximum after modding the number, right? So, so it is a little bit ambiguous um, if you're not careful. So, and in this case, um, you do not need to mod until the final calculation because all the calculations will fit in the 64-bit end and then you just do the mod to get it to a 32-bit end. And if you're doing it in JavaScript, eh, my bad, I'm sorry for you. Or well, another language that doesn't have a 64-bit a int. Um, yeah, but that's basically, those are the consideration. And that's enough for me to start implementing. So let, let's implement this. Um, let's let's zip to speed and efficiency. But let's... Yeah, let's do speed, efficiency. Um... And we want it. We want to sort this, but in a reversed way, right? Because we want the efficiency to go from largest to smallest. So now we can go for uh, just this for in in this thing. Um, okay. So so now we have best is equal to zero, say, and because we can do our calculations, we just do, do the mod at the end. We don't have to worry about it. Um, and then we have sum, or total, I should say, because sum is a keyword. Um, okay, so now we want to get the top K, right? Um, of, we want to keep a rowing count of the top K. So how do we do this? Of course, if you, anytime you hear top K, um, a heap should be in your, your uh, idea. So let's, let's have a heap. Um, and in order to get the top K, we want a min heap because... Mm -hmm. We want to remove the min at every time, right? So we want a min heap here, which is good because in Python it is a min heap. Yeah. Uh, in other languages, you may have to play around with it a little bit, but yeah. So, okay. So, so then now we have, we have these invariants of the total and h. Meaning that every time we add something to, to the heap, we add it to the total. Every time we remove something from the heap, we remove it from total. So that these two are, uh, you know, you can do it in in logarithmic time uh, instead of summing it every time, right? If you have to get the top K every time, it's going to be a little bit messy. So, okay. So, we want to get the sum of the speed, is it? Okay. Yeah. So, the total, we add the speed. We do we push the speed into the heap, and then while even though this while will never execute more than once, while the length of the heap is greater than k, then we pop from h. Um, hmm, we move this equal to this, and total we we minus we moved, and then all that's left is now we we have greedily the total of the top. K that is within this current uh, efficiency, so we can just do uh, best is equal to max of best efficiency times total, and that's pretty much it, I believe. Uh, every time I've been saying that lady and I've been wrong lady, so let's let's actually hope that's the case. Okay, at least we have that one correctly. But yeah, the, the key thing about this problem is trying to really read the 
the boundaries, or not the boundaries, but the constraints really well. Uh, and the reason, and some of this is probably just practice as well. Um, but, oh, did I miss something? Oh, I have to give an N? That's weird. Okay, so... Would have thought N is... You could tell what N is, right? So, okay, so these are all six, I think. Okay. But, um... Okay, that looks good. Let's give it a submit. Cool. Um... Yeah, so the key of this problem is just try to figure out how to how to um, take advantage of this uh, the problem constraints. And when you multiply stuff by minimum e uh, efficiency, as I say, you know, oh, I erased the formula, but basically you have to, you have you have this formula, like I said, min efficiency times max speed. And in this case, and unless this impact each other. Um, you want to do greedy as mu as often as you can, and the ma and the max speed part is uh, and the max speed part or max of some speed, I guess this is more some speed. And you know, for for some, if you if you play it around with some enough, you know that you know you just take greedy the the largest k numbers, and then that means that you have to. Kind of figure out how to adjust the min efficiency, and there are only a, a couple of possibilities to solving these, um, in a way maybe, or if it is sorting anyway, it might not be some some problems like this could be dynamic programming and so forth. But if it, but in my toolkit, if I thought, okay, can I do this in a greedy way? If it is greedy, what would it look like? It may look like that I have this formula. And that you know this part is greedy, and it could probably be independent uh, independent of this. And how do I get the minimum efficiency, or the other way around, right? Where, um, which is what I end up doing, which is that okay, now that I I do some kind of scanline thing, where I have the minimum efficiency, how do I get the sum of speed? So that's basically my thought process, um, and I try both of those in my head, uh, even though I. You might not have, because I didn't talk out loud that much that time. But yeah, let's go over the complexity real quick, and then we'll call it a night. Um, oh, it's three fourteen a.m. Pi time, I guess. But uh, but that's like every day, so maybe that's not that impressive. But anyway, but yeah. So this is this sorting is going to be n log n, and here it's the heap is going to only have k elements, so it's going to be n log k. So it's going to be n of oh sorry, it's going to. So the total time, because we we for each element at most we push into the heap once and then we removed it from the heap once. So it's gonna be O of n log k in total for the heap, and this sorting is n log n. So it's gonna be n log k plus n log n, which you can say that k gets dominated by n, so it's gonna be k n log n. Um, but you could be more tight and say n log n plus n log k, um, and and for space, because of the heap, we use O of K space. Uh, we do do some sorting here, which is also linear. So maybe you could say it's O of N plus K. Uh, it's a little bit awkward because as in theory, you can also do an in-place sort of the speed and efficiency. But if you, if, you, if you watch my videos enough and follow me enough, you know that I hate changing the input because people... Like if I was face, thinking about this as an API and someone changed my my you know my memory while doing something roughly unrelated and I would be surprised to get it then you know it's not really extra, you know it's not really extra space it's just you know you're gonna it's, it's space efficient and then the person using your API is uh, gonna be surprised and also just probably maybe make their own copy before passing it in if they really need your code. So yeah, so anyway, uh, linear space eh, for some definition of linear because k is an integer, so eh, uh, but n plus k, say. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Weekend is coming up. I uh, hope I redeem myself of the contest this week. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Contest or no contest. I'll see you later and to good mental health. Bye bye.